Now, the Committee on Appropriation mutilated that particular budget, and I stand to be corrected. It was on the basis of that, when the President returned the budget, that the leadership of the House decided to set up an ad hoc committee. Oh, so you think that this, this uh, difference, yes. the difference in what the President received and what the House passed, yeah. was actually done by the, by the uh, House Committee on Appropriation? Definitely. So they were the ones who, you don't you want to use the word padding, you said they mutilated the budget. They mutilated the budget. They mutilated the budget. But some people prefer the word padding because if it's adding and subtraction. You, you, don't, you don't use the word padding. Why because, don't we use the word padding? Because, What's wrong with it? Because, because for me, you know, when you say padding, mm. it's like, you know, adding something, all right, which is a bit alien. What they did. Wasn't that what they did? No. What they did was to cut funds from various subheads. Mm -hmm. And add them where? And send them to various uh, positions. And, and, and you see, you need to understand and appreciate what is happening because somebody is playing the role of an ostrich in an hour of crisis. Now, the House, in its wisdom, with the Senate, decided to say, no, there is a need for us to set up an ad hoc committee to prepare this budget, of which even the chairman, the former chairman who is crying wolf at this particular time, was a member of the committee. I was not a member of the committee. How come my name is being mentioned in respect of this whole scenario? The speaker wasn't a member of the committee. There is a difference between what we call the zonal intervention funds and even this issue that is happening. So the, a committee was set up to try and repair the budget, so mutilated by the appropriation committee. Because but, if you ask every chairman, they will tell you categorically that that wasn't the budget that we sent to the appropriation committee. So who mutilated that budget? Why These isn't, are the issues. Why isn't the House investigating who mutilated the budget? We know, see, one, one thing you know is that we are on a recess. And the House know the person that mutilated the budget. So it was, give not, you a clear example. It was not the committee that it, it mutilated is, it the It is budget. a one-man business. And I stand here to say that it was Abdulmumuni that mutilated that budget. Let me give you an instance. You remember the day we moved, I moved the motion, the bill on the uh, immunity clause? On that day, I mean, Abdul stood to speak, and you could hear the noise. Ask your people who were there on the floor. Show that clip. Everybody on the floor was shouting, only, only, only. You shouldn't even open your mouth to talk. I mean, the people, everybody on the, on the floor knows who mutilated the budget. So, you, but this you just, is, this you, is you more just, an after talk. You accuse the House Committee on Appropriation. Would that be a fair statement? Well, he is the chairman. And when I confronted most of them, they said, Liga, this guy didn't even allow us to see what he was doing. He took the budget and handled this budget on his own. There is the need for us to go further and find out from the committee who actually prepared or who collated that budget so that we can put this, whole this embarrassment behind us. I, I see a scenario or a situation where somebody who actually have committed an offense and he was fired because of that offense going around the public shouting all over the place let's investigate this issue so that we cannot find out who actually is involved in this embarrassing this situation so he cut all these subheads and took them to those various agencies so you do agree because the facts are there for anybody to appreciate you do agree with the uh, 113 members of the transparency group who are calling for an investigation because Definitely. according to them what they say is that they believe that honorable Jibrin has just been sacrificed as a scapegoat they're not according to them they're not for him they're not against him they want the matter investigated by an, an independent body do you agree with I that? I have no problem with a proper investigation. If you want to bring the FBI even to do this investigation, I, Leo Okuwe Ogo, is in support of the investigation. But what I know as a matter of fact... You would not be that, saying that that's interference? Well... In the House to, business? If that is what the public wants, to save our name. Because at the moment, in respect of a government bill, because the appropriation is a government bill, I am the leader of the opposition. I don't lead in a government bill, it is led by the majority leader. And he has exonerated the majority leader in this whole exercise. You see, I see some level of politics being played in this whole concept. But I know that at the end of the day, the truth will come out. And I want to use this opportunity to appeal just, to just, just a moment. Uh, Chamberlain needs to put in a question to you. 
Well, we'd like to find out because if you say that uh, he who headed the committee on appropriation was involved in the padding of the budget, well, some of the members who also spoke yesterday said they wondered why didn't the leadership accede to their demands when they had complained initially about the appropriation committee? Well, well, first, I think the matter was discussed, you know, because uh, when, a, a, when, when you appoint a chairman and there are complaints, there is the need to look at those various complaints. We start as principal officers and the presiding officers and we discuss this issue. And we said, yes, this thing has become a major embarrassment and Abdul Mumini will go. I was there. The leader of the house was there. All the principal officers, including the two presiding officers, were all there. And because we knew that this thing cannot in any way be covered, we decided to fire him. When they asked for his firing at the first time, the speaker said, please, let's try as much as we can to investigate and find out where all these unnecessary abnormalities came from. And it was on, based on that that there was some level of delay. But I also regret that delay because I think he should have been fired immediately. Do you think the House has not uh, really done well here? If you, say, if you felt truly that the uh, former chairman was guilty of what you just said, why wasn't he investigated before he was eased off his uh, position? I just explained to you, and if you want me to go further, you know, I told you categorically that there must be a declared principle of fair hearing, all right? And we, we, the, the speaker was collating, was collating all this information, trying to find out precisely what went wrong in the budget. You need to ask yourself one question. Who is the head of that committee? You see, you, 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 you must you know, appreciate you know, this uh, principle of separation uh, uh, of power. Uh, uh, and the chairman here. of the committee... You, you know, we're, we're asking the questions that Nigerians would love to, you know, get answers to. And that is why uh, perhaps sometimes when we have to ask this question, we need answers. First, Chairman started by asking if uh, there was padding or not, but you chose to give it a different meaning, just the way even the former chairman used the word in session. And now we're getting to hear about mutilation. Was something wrong with the budget, to use another word? Was something wrong with the 2016 budget? If, definitely something was wrong. That was why the president refused assent. And if the president refused assent, the House also, in conjunction with the Senate, set up an ad hoc committee to review the budget. If, this, if there was nothing wrong, definitely there wouldn't be an ad hoc committee to review the whole. So why didn't so, the House, as much as you know, are representatives of the people, the tell the nation that, that something was wrong with the budget? Who actually caused this problem? So why didn't the House help the nation by telling them Sorry? that something was... Why didn't the House of Representatives tell the people that something was wrong with the budget before they ho the former House Committee Chairman on Appropriation uh, spilled the beans? Why didn't they do what? Say there was something wrong with the budget. Yeah, but if there was nothing wrong, there's no way we'll have set up the other committee to review the budget. So we set up the other committee to review the budget and raise and to and restore everything that right, moved from the budget. Well, let's take a quick break. Those subheads that were taken to... We'll be back in a minute, Honorable. Just, just give us a minute. We'll, we'll be right back.